Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. Thank you very much for all your likes and shares. Um, apparently the, the transparent tarot, everybody likes a transparent tarot. Now this week I'll be doing it differently, layering it differently. So have a look if you are new. Welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all. And also um, have a look uh, at your settings in YouTube and in your mobile device. If you don't know how to set your settings then have a look at the video that I've put up on how to set your settings in the back of YouTube and in your mobile device for laptop and um, a telephone. There's a few new things, so I do go live, so then you should be getting notified once you've given YouTube permission to notify you. Um, also, um, uh, have a look at the video uh, of la this week and last week, then you can see the different ways that I have used the uh, transparent tarot. There is also a review on the Transparent Tarot, if you wish to get it yourself, if you're a reader. And also there is a video on the energy of Libra, as we are going into Libra on the 22nd, 23rd, according to the astrologers. And of course, in our uh, calendar, it is the 21st of September. So you might be more sensitive around that time. It also on the 21st of September it is the celebration of the fall equinox and that festival is called Maybon and that is the Wiccan pagan calendar and our calendar is autumn so we are going into autumn. Next week there will also be the romance uh, readings coming out. I'm extremely busy because there's new things happening. The first episode on the Witches series in English is out and it is all uh, about keeping healthy inside and outside mentally, physically and spiritually. And there will be uh, people coming as guests as well, candle maker, also there might be a dietist coming in, who knows? Uh, I'm keeping it a secret and also there will be free giveaways um, in the autumn that I've been promising the Shadowlands and something else but I won't reveal everything okay so um, let's get started with your reading the first card that we have is the six of cups somebody from the past might be coming back and giving you a present you might be reminiscing about the past, your childhood or your teenage years. And um, you might be longing for something from the past. Perhaps uh, the gentle way of life, feeling secure. Um, but don't worry, you. I feel that you are in a, a bit of a, a dip at the moment, Virgo because you might not feel secure because you might be going through a tough time especially now with what is going on in the media well there is an end coming to a tough time as you have the world the world is your oyster and a new beginning is going to start for you what goes round comes round what goes up must come down this is also my karma card and that means to say that if you've done good or bad you will get it back threefold if somebody's done you wrong or done you uh, bad then they'll get their karma threefold as well you might be moving home you might be going on holiday you might also go up a next level either at work or in your relationship or in a friendship. A friendship might even become a relationship. You might be going on holiday. You might be going um, with this new person or with your partner or friend that has become a partner um, on holiday. And it looks to me uh, that you might be going near water as you have 
uh, a lot of cups in your reading. You've got the Six of Cups and you have the Nine of Cups. So there is a wish coming true. Or a goal could be coming true as well. Perhaps you've been longing to go on a holiday and you haven't been able to go on holiday with your partner or friend um, because there was lockdown. In some situations there's still restrictions but your wish is coming true. When, and again, you have um, the world is an ending, a new beginning, going into a new phase, and the nine of cups in the nine means an ending. Where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. The last card, and that is at the weekend, that is the devil. You have the devil. There might be some, like I said, you might be in a dip because you want to break away, you might feel imprisoned. This could be by another person. Um, uh, this could also be the uh, rules that have been put down by um, the government or a municipality. That could be the one that is manipulating uh, your way of life in some way or having influence on you so that you might have a, an addiction or a bad habit like staying in bed for instance not wanting to get out of bed because of all the difficulties that are in the media at the moment but this could also be a person if it isn't you that has a bad habit or an addiction you can see that this man is holding on to the children but the children still have their hands free. In the traditional tarot, there, there's a man and a woman chained to the block that the devil sits on, but the hands are free. So break free from anybody that is manipulating you or is bossing you or leaning on you too much in a relationship or in a friendship. Um, a relationship in a friendship should be uh, equal should there should be balance there should be equilibrium so break feel free if you feel imprisoned take a break by all means because that is what is showing um, in the world card travel or that is could be your wish perhaps you have broken free and somebody from the past that had a bad habit might be coming back be careful this is a warning it doesn't have to be bad but it could be a warning as well you know um, we have a saying in Holland you know what is in the barrel in the 15th 16th 17th century they used to pickle their meat um, with salt and that is what they used to put in barrels because they didn't have plastic containers so that is why we have the saying you know what is in the barrel okay you know that um, uh, uh, a dog or uh, like the dog of the Lenaman or the fox in the Lenaman I always say they um, shed their fur but not their tricks so there is a warning in this reading to watch out for somebody that you might have parted ways with um, and that could be coming back or somebody that has bad habits Overall, I think you've got a positive reading so long you notice the, um, that uh, you keep in mind that there could be somebody around you that's bossing you or influencing you in the wrong way. There could be a Capricorn around you that is significant. Perhaps your wish is to get together with this Capricorn as the devil represents Capricorn. In the transparent tarot, we have the Emperor. Uh, Empress and she's Mother Earth. She has green fingers. Perhaps you like gardening because I see plants here as well and you're in the garden. And if I put this above the Six of Cups you can see that there's countryside and the countryside the Empress represents Libra so there could also be a Libra you're in the countryside so you might be going on holiday in the countryside not very far away from your own home because of restrictions 
but you might also find out <coughs> that you're pregnant at this moment or you might hear of a birth this could be of a new job that you um, you planted the seeds for or you this could be um, hearing of a birth of a child if you're too mature you might find out you're becoming an auntie or a grandmom or a godmother or a godfather the time is now is fertile for new beginnings because the empress means fertility it means uh, you can can get pregnant if that is your wish um, if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions you have uh, planted seeds and you're nurturing them okay and they're growing and they will be uh, uh, blooming and harvesting because it is after all the harvest time what I also hear is that some of you have planted seeds and have been nurturing this by manifestations meditations and contemplations and you've been right on top of it and you're seeing the results now since we've got the Emperor this represents the Emperor um, you could be leaving the city like I said you might be going into the countryside because here you can see the mountains or hills with green and there's something new sprouting but because we've got the Empress and the Emperor you might be coupling up and that is what the world means as well going up to the next level so if you're going out with somebody you might be coupling up since we've got the couple here and the Emperor represents Aries so it could be an Aries that you could be coupling up with a Capricorn or a Libra and you're feeling quite secure because you've like here you've you see the buildings but you you could might you might even you see high-rise here you could might be moving to a house with a garden because you love the garden I do see a lot of green and space you might feel you need more space like if you have your own garden and Kovic does stay with us then at least you can potter around outside in your own garden I think you might want to have more space perhaps you've applied for a mortgage or a loan to buy that house and your wish is coming true because look she is running the page is running towards the house towards you to bring you the news and this is the page of cups and so that means the emotional fulfillment especially on the nine of cups you're not be you're not getting worried anymore or you're not worried anymore you see that her she's sitting here meditating like I said your meditations your contemplation and manifestations um, are coming to fruition you can see the page running towards you okay towards the house okay Wow magic you might be expanding the family as well because it is a gentle little person not the knight okay so you might be expecting after all you have got the um, Empress okay and you've got the couple so you might be getting married or moving into a home or moving in together after all you have the ten of Pentacles so that means expanding family could be getting that loan like I said your wish is coming into fulfillment it could also be an inheritance or a gift from a family member or you might have won the lottery look at the unity right on top of the girl the girl being the Empress okay now if I turn it round the card it is right on top of the boy so it doesn't matter it could be a he or she that is getting the inheritance or the gift you're breaking free well done 
you are um, you're not dependable anymore okay you don't have to depend on somebody you are independent sorry I was looking for the English words you're totally independent you are have realized that by breaking away and applying yourself to what you want whether it's a job a house or anything else you can manage it and you are in your strength Wow that is beautiful now the answer of the angels is as I'm shaking the cards I will be taking one remain positive remain positive especially think positive and if you get negative thoughts in then say thank you for coming in but I don't need you and reset your mind now I said to you coupling up and I'm shaking the cards and look what's coming in the wedding this situation involves marriage so some of you might be getting married and it is right on top of the page of cups bringing you news that could be love or passion or something nurturing news of emotional fulfillment okay that's the ten of pentacles and the nine of cups perhaps that was your wish to get married so remain positive uh, if you need to have no more and you require an extensive reading then please uh, look at the instructions uh, in the de description box or in the top right hand corner by clicking on the icon of Charlie's Angel Tarot and it will take you to the website where you can see all the readings on offer. I hope you've enjoyed this reading a Virgo and take care and enjoy your week. Please like and share. Thank you.